Every study that's looked at costs over the trajectory of cancer has shown that much of the cost uh, is incurred in the last month or two of life. We as oncologists and practitioners drive a lot of these costs by uh, often continuing care longer perhaps than we should or being more aggressive in situations where we know that we're not able to cure patients. Uh, and this drives cost and can have negative uh, impacts on patients and their uh, family members' quality of life. I think it's very important that we as oncologists set realistic expectations both for ourselves and for our patients about the limits of uh, cancer care and have really honest discussions with them uh, about their treatment options, including when to transition into uh, a more palliative approach. What I find so exciting about health services research is that we're really able to impact our patients today. Many people have noted that if we could just apply the things that we know are the right things to do to our patients, we could have more of an impact on their outcomes than any of the blockbuster drugs or other major advances that have been in medicine in the last 50 or 100 years.